Hi, welcome to Carla's Decades of Decor. Today we're uh, traveling around a little bit and uh, seeing what we can find. So we are stopped right now at an antique store and I guess they're celebrating 30 years and it says they're having a big sale. So let's see. Flip the camera around. Here we go. And there we go. We're heading on in. Come with me. This booth. I always did like these. Oh, wood cabinet, mm -hmm. 69. To hide your things or put them on display. Oh. <laughs> a policeman with a bottle in his hand, hanging on to the bar sign. And it says never on Sunday. Vintage Tilso Light 25 or 29. I can't tell what it says. Okay, over in this booth, there's a few things. I like this little compote dish. Those colors are really cool. It's lighter than I thought it would be, though. Put it up a lesson bowl. They want 35. Here's a little black picture. Oh, here's another fountain, hand painted piece. Oh, is this in a pawn? Let's see. Six piece hand painted Nippon cups. 35 for the set. However, there should be a cider pitcher that goes with it. So that set is incomplete. Ooh. Oh, there's another fountain up there. Let me turn the camera off while I bring that down. And we'll take a better look. I take that back. This is a Westmoreland. There's the little sticker. Oh, they want 25. That's a beautiful color, and it's a, a shiny glass. Candy dish for ten dollars. Can't think of the maker on that one now. Hand blown Marana style. You know that is not a Marana style. And they're wanting $25 for that. Now this is cool. This is part of the uh, the Regency Hollywood era. It's a crystal bowl with the crystal hanging teardrops. And they want a hundred dollars on that. Wow. A Smith Corona typewriter. <laughs> Somebody was playing with it. I think it needs oil a little bit. 1917 they have listed on the tag and they're wanting $75 for it cool little portable one especially for back then <laughs> Iranian sugar glasses $7 a piece Let's see what's up here. Oh, we have a, a satin daisy and button hat. Oh, 
glass swan. We want 30 on that. Mm. Oh, for all you fiesta people. Oh, that's a dispenser. So I was right under the speaker and ZZ Top was blasting. So I'm gonna have to do a little voice over here. Oh, wow, is that that, um, not cream oil, uh, it's not crinoline, but those were pretty cool from the uh, 1950s. And let's see what else is over here. Um, some salt and pepper shakers. I don't see. Oh, now this is pretty cool. Here's a, an art glass dish. Little spirals. Kind of reminds me of a peppermint for Christmas time. They only wanted $8 for that bowl. I put it back while I thought about it and then forgot about it. So it's still there. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Then uh, we have some salt and pepper shakers. Now these brown ones. Look how Art Deco design on those but I don't know they didn't look they just didn't strike my fancy I guess maybe with the brown um there's some little figurines made in Japan so right around the corner some little tiny figurines I see these dogs they're um three three fifty oh, look at the little brown one with the big eyes look at that cute little face he was three there's a German Shepherd. I uh, I like that little blue picture. Oh, and here's a Toby mug, but he's got a cracked head. <laughs> Let's go into the booth and see what else. Um, I love those lamps. That's a cool style with the crystals hanging down. And then we have some Amberina glass. This uh, one on the right is a satin. They wanted $8, and then this one was pretty cool. I liked the pattern in it. Great for fall time. Then we have the uh, Button and Daisy hat in, uh, I guess, an amber kind of color, and there it is in red. We've got some of the uh, Fenton shoes. I like that blue and a boot. And then this is the Master Salt Cellar from Fenton for $5. And down below, oh, here's some uh, pink depression glass. That was a cool shape with a little octagon pattern to it. And we're going to head into this booth. Let's see. Um... Aw, look at the little baby planner. I love the characters they did with the big eyes like that. Those are adorable. Over here, we had some mid-century. There's uh, toothpick holders. That uh, custard one probably does glow under a black light. Mid-century, that was kind of neat too. Wow, look at this acro agate. Oh my gosh. What was that? $30. Oh, I like the colors in that. That was absolutely beautiful. Now, over here, we have a mid-century uh, green decanter. And then uh, a little bit more figurines. Oh, here's a spaghetti poodle, but it's made in Japan. And he was $5. There was uh, two of those. Well, where'd the other one go? Maybe it was another booth there was, too. Look how cute this little dog's eyes are. He kind of reminds me of Tramp with Lady and the Tramp. And then the next shelf down is some uh, green depression glass. Those eagles are cool. And they were $25. Now, look at this Art Deco ashtray. Boy, is that an Art Deco design. Isn't that cool? And here's another little green depression glass ashtray. A couple candlestick holders. And some orange lusterware. It's their punch bowl, and there should be other little cups that go with it. Some of the red Fostoria glasses. 
Um, those are cool. I always like that. Nice for a bunch of the holidays. And up here, oh, more salt and pepper shakers. There's some, uh, the glass hens. Those were 15. These were cute, made in Japan for 12. Oh, look at the little bulldogs. Oh, look at their little faces. How cute they are. And then here's these. Um, they're $14 for the pair. It says Farberware on them. And there it is on the bottom. Um, this one, the cap was kind of rusty, though. Let me see what the other one looks like. Uh, oh, okay. Well, this one's in much better condition. Those were cool. They're like the old ball pitchers that uh, they used to use. They made them in a lot of different colors. And let's see. There's some 70s green. Oh, and here's a reverse painted caddy. I like that with the uh, orange flowers on it. Little candy dish for 15. Uh, let's see. Here's some more of the 70s colors. Here's a uh, little crackle glass picture. That's a nice color. And then this one was made in the Czech Republic. And they want $22 on that one. I'm surprised that was open. And let's see what else we have. A lot of mugs. Oh, what's this? $8. Kind of like the coloring on that, but I think I see a little crack. Some of the salt and pepper shakers. Oh, here's some more purple glass. We have a little salt cellar for five. And let's see what else. There's a lot of that Avon dishes. And I don't see anything else in here. This booth always gets some really nice glassware. There's some of the Fenton, kind of like the pulled. Oh, look at this one. Oh, wow. Wonder, boy, that's heavy. Fenton vase, peacock satin glass. 35 on that one. I think that's a good price. What do you have on this? 35. Beautiful Eastery colors. Look at that all together. I'm surprised. Normally he's pretty retail on his stuff. Some of the white milk glass. Here's a Ellie Smith Moon and Stars. It's a nice color blue. Great for your winter time decor. Little egg cup. He always has such a nice variety. Oh, here's the here's the moonstone. Wow. That really is gorgeous. Just a few swanky swigs. Looks like he sold most of them. This whole entire top of this shelf used to be swanky swigs. We've got some pottery and a lot more fiesta. Let's take a look back down this way. Let's head to the back. 
Now here is a good variety of a Pyrex. Is this that snowflake pattern? They have 60 on that. There's the daisies. A little more daisies. Um, Fire King. I think that was from the 70s. Obviously, all these are also from the 70s. The Pyrex has been hot for a while. And here we have some little miniatures. Oh, look at him with his cute little face. Oh, it's a planner. Basset Hound. <laughs> that one is made in Japan. Oh, let's get them in the focus here. Oh, it's this one. I don't see any markings on him. I do like a couple of those. I do like that big basset hound. Let's see what kind of salt and peppers they have. Oh, from Niagara Falls. These are kind of like the ones I just listed on eBay. Those little bonzo bulldogs. Some flower shakers. Let's see what else. Uh, little kissing fish are cute, but I don't see anything else there. <laughs> I like his little face. I don't know though, he doesn't have much wear on the bottom. <laughs> now here we're in the back room. Here's an open lace plate from the Depression era. There's another one. They want four dollars. Oh, this has some etchings on it. Kind of hard to. Oh, there we go. For five, they only want twelve fifty. I think that's a pretty good deal. Ooh, look at this. Wow. That is gorgeous. Ooh, look at the design on this. They say it's Germany. Boy, is that different. $18. Yep, it is Germany. Little footed bowl. I like the purples in it, and I love the design. 18 uh, well, Let's see what's back here. Okay, so... This is reproduction from Sunbeam, it says, for $28. Here's some uh, hobnail. wonder what they want on their vases. There's no price. Oh, they only want 15 on that. 15. What do they want on that? 12. Hmm. I like that blue for 15. Fenton. And I don't see any numbers underneath the Fenton mark. Which means it was made in the 70s. It was made in the 70s. I like that. Hmm. Oh, here's some little porcelain. Oh, is this for little kids? Probably a play set for little girls. Oh, look at this one. In Japan. $3.00. Look just like the adult sets. 
made in Japan. Three dollars. <laughs> Those are cute. Little miniatures. Alright, I don't see anything else in here. Let's head down this way. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at the turquoise one. Aqua Fenton dish for 24 with the white crest on it. There's some depression glass. <gasps> Here's a purple. Oh, wow. Look at that. They only want 40 for this bowl. Holy moly. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. That is gorgeous. That is definitely worth more than $40. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Let's see.